Hey, my friends. <clears throat> Max Ugas here, and I'm going to talk to you about selling art online in 2017 because a lot of things have changed, a lot of things have updated, and technology has actually, well, it's always been your friend, but um, at the rate that everything's going, it's, uh, it's definitely more of your friend if you know how to use it and you know how to put it together. Okay, so um, let me set this little tripod down. So you might be watching this because it's a new video on the channel. You might be watching this because you were referred here from another one of my videos, or you may have actually like directly searched for this term and um, it's popped up. But we're going to be discussing uh, more or less like the four or five things that you actually have to have to sell art online now, and the different options that are available because. When I originally shot the first like how to sell art online video, um, a lot of the options that are available now weren't even around, or if they were around, they just weren't as great as they are now. Okay, and what do I mean by that? It's like they're man. It's it's like let's just put this way: the opportunities for artists to make money online have really just expanded because. I, I, I just, I'm going to get into it, okay? So anyway, first and foremost, right, what do you need? What do you need to sell art online? And what do you need to do a whiteboard video? Well, you need whiteboard markers. So where is mine? Okay, so let's get, get, let's get back into this, right? So what do you need to do to sell art online? I have a marker now. All right, so for one, obviously, um, first and foremost... As an artist, you need art to sell art online, right? It kind of, it's a no-brainer, but I have to put it out there. Um, if you don't, <clears throat> now, here's uh, here's some interesting feedback on this, right? As an artist online, um, and you should probably do some research on this yourself, but there is, uh, like, digital copyright acts are pretty fantastic. Um, as long as you're watermarking a lot of your artwork, and then uh, doing the due diligence to actually copyright your, the pieces that you're sharing online and selling online, um, you're super protected, okay? You're super duper protected. And it's a, uh, I've been doing a lot of reading on, it, on this and um, there's nothing stopping you right now from, from basically like putting your art out there and sharing it with people. Because as an artist, um, you know, just as a creative, as somebody, I, I know a lot of people, well, so what if somebody jacks my, jacks my art? You're protected if you do the proper work behind the scenes to, you know, copyright the work that you're sharing with people, okay? Um, but you need great art, obviously, to sell art online, okay? Um, number two, so I wrote this down. Okay, now th this really depends on you, <clears throat> okay? Because... You need to understand your market. Who are you selling to? Who do you want to sell to? Who is going to buy your art? Um, I know, like, art is such a very broad, I don't want to say, like, broad term, but it really is. It's like, art can be used to describe just about anything that's creative, okay? So, if you are an artist and you're creating things and you want to sell them, what you, and it's like, especially, like, if you want to sell them, this there's the difference between, it's like, if you're just doing art just for yourself or you're doing art, and you, you want to keep it all or whatever, um, you know, you're just creating things to, to please your, your, uh, your creative sense and whatever, and you're, you're learning and you're testing different things or whatever. Um, that's great. Okay. That's great. It's great to practice. It's great to hone your skills. It's great to get better at what you're doing, but there also comes a time and a place where you need to sell stuff and make money and pay bills or whatever, especially like if you want to, um, you know, make money as an artist. So as you create eventually to a point, like you, you realize that it's like, all right, cool. So I have to sell some of this work because otherwise what happens is you stockpile a ton of stuff in your room or your office or your studio or your garage, wherever you're creating. Right. And you just end up with like boxes and boxes and piles and piles of, of sketches and canvases and wood boards and whatever, whatever you're creating. Right. <clears throat> so 
you have to understand your market, who you're selling to, who's going to want to buy this, who is going to be interested in what you're doing. And there, let's just put it this way, like you have the access to the, to the internet now, you can see what's trending, you can see what people are buying, you can see what people are into, you can, and you, you really can like figure out who likes what, okay? It's the beautiful thing about the internet and all this other stuff, okay? Um, you need a platform or a system to sell art, okay? But basically to sell 24 seven. The beautiful thing about selling art online, okay, is that when you're sleeping, if you have a website up, okay, if you have a website up and you've built it to basically like do what it's supposed to do, um, your website will be working for you 24 seven, okay? Um, it's the same thing with a, with a Facebook page. It's the same thing with an Instagram page. It's the same thing with a Pinterest page. It's the same thing with an Etsy page. It's the same thing with a whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever you're using to market, which you should be marketing, okay? Um, because if you're not, how do other people find you, right? Okay. Um, but you need a system or a platform or multiple platforms to market on to get them to a sales page, to get them to, um, a buy, you know, like a, like a, like a portfolio or a catalog or whatever. All right. Um, so that people can view and purchase. Okay. <clears throat> because that is really super important because if you know if, if you're just posting art and people go oh where's your website or oh where can I buy your stuff and you go oh uh I don't know I don't have anything um you know it, it actually it, it kind of hurts you because this is and I got a few other points here but I'm, I'm not even going to talk about them right now because this is I, I think that this is this is way more important Okay, if you want to sell art, okay, as an artist, all right, just realize this. Artists, you are literally the almost pure definition of entrepreneur, okay? Meaning, like, there's entrepreneur, okay? You don't need to spell it to sell, you don't need to spell it to create either. Entrepreneur. Can you even read that? I don't know. Entrepreneur. Anyway, um, and what I mean by that is this, is that like basically you are, there's a difference between being an employee. There's a difference between running a business. Okay. If you are an artist and you make money selling your art, you are a self-employed entrepreneur. You run a business. You are your business. Your art is your business. Okay. And this is the, once again, this goes back to this. If you sell your art, if you do not, this does not apply to you because then it's just like, there's a, hobbyist passionate I'm an artist but I you know I, I don't get it I mean some people are like that though but it's, it's like well I'm an artist where's your stuff I don't share it with anybody I don't post it with anybody I keep it all to myself and it's all in this hidden vault that uh that I don't share with the rest of the world um I don't know you know maybe it's just like private stuff that you don't want to share or you're afraid that somebody's gonna steal it um copyright 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 anyway if you want to make money as an artist, you have to look at yourself as an entrepreneur. You run a business, okay? Um, as a business owner, your job, you know, because you're basically the one and only person running and managing your business until you start hiring people on or getting help or whatever, but you're the one that is now managing and, you know, more or less like running your business for yourself. So you have to, and, and this is like really why I think a lot of artists are looking to sell art online because, um, you know, who honestly, it's like, if you know, you have a talent and you know, you can create and you know that you have a fan base, you know, if, if you've set up a, a fan page or an Instagram page, or you're sharing stuff on, on different social media platforms and you're having likes and you're having followers and you're having people going, Oh, that's beautiful. And you're not selling anything. You have to figure out where the disconnect is. And it's probably a, a few different things. Um, you know, sometimes people just have a hard time asking for money saying, Hey, you should buy this. Or sometimes it's, <clears throat> it's the exact opposite to where it's like, literally, I'm just going to whip it out and show it to you. I'd be like, Hey, you want it. Right. Um, which is not the right thing to do, by the way, you should never whip it out and just show it to somebody when you first meet them. It's wrong. It's creepy. It's bad. Anyway, um, 
Just don't do it. Selling art online is actually way easier than it ever was. Okay. Because you have different platforms now to where it's like, you don't even have to just like sell your own art. I mean, as, as like originals and stuff, like you have so many options now with print on demand sites. Um, you know, guys like there, there are at least a dozen that I know of, um, just really great print on demand sites where you can create, you know, like you can keep the original or you can option to sell the original, but you can also have like, these guys do canvas reproductions. These guys do print reproductions. You can create your own t-shirts. You can create your own cell phone cases. You can create your own whatever, like the pillows and tote bags and, and all this other stuff that other people, because you also have to realize this is that like you have to under, once again, let's go back to understanding your market. Um, not everybody in your market is going to buy from you. Okay. Not everybody can afford what you're charging. So you basically, you're going to need to continue to market. You're going to need to continue to network and you're going to need to continue to advertise or meet people because what I've found is this, is that a lot of people, and this is like the, the worst thing you could ever think about when it comes to, or the worst actions that you could ever take and, and do when it comes to setting up a website for yourself, you just put the site up and you don't tell anybody about it or you put the site up, but you just like, you keep it private or whatever. It, it's, it's kind of like this. It's like, you can meet a ton of people online. You can share a lot of stuff online, but I found that it's also, it's a great, it's great to work in combinations of, you know, actually going out and talking to people, actually going out and marketing yourself to, to people in person. Okay. Um, not just putting up a website or buying a Shopify store and hoping that it sells. Okay. With any business as an entrepreneur, with any business, your job Okay, your main job is to create product and sell product. Okay, and in between meet customers and potential customers and network with people so that you can expand and grow your audience. Okay, if you have a very small friends list, if you have a very small following, if you have a very, you know, if you're very, I don't want to talk to people. Okay, you're going to have a hard time selling your art. Okay, if you don't want to market, if you don't want to share um, if you don't want to engage with people, okay. And I, and I think that this, this is a big thing too. It's like, um, as artists, we, we tend to get very personal about the, the work that we do, right? It's like, well, this is my work and whatever, but it's like, <coughs> not everybody's going to like every piece that you do. Okay. People are entitled to their own opinions and some people are going to say things to you that may hurt your feelings a little bit. All right. The, 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 the thing to remember here is that not everybody's going to buy. It's the same thing as like when you're dating or when you're in high school or when you're growing up, you know, not every single person that you meet is going to like you. And the quicker you realize that, that's fine. Okay. Accept them and love them for the fact that they're not going to like you right away and move on and find the people that you hang out with and that you, that you tend to get along with better and find the customers that appreciate the work rather than the people that tear it down. Um, so, but you have to overcome the fear of, well, what if they don't like it? Well, what if somebody doesn't like my shit? So what if somebody makes a bad meme or posts some shitty stuff about me on social media? Fuck them. Okay. Listen, there's billions of people online right now. And I'm pretty sure just given by the, you know, I'm pretty sure that there are people that love the stuff that I'm putting out. And there are people that hate the stuff that I'm putting out there. You just, you learn to deal with it. Okay. And I can go into this so much, but when it comes to selling your art online, the main thing is, is like, really, it's just like, have great art, have a system. Okay. Make it work for you 24 seven, engage with people and continue to market your art. Okay. Figure out what works for you and continue to market it and share and celebrate the successes that you're having. Okay. If you've never sold anything and you sell your first piece, celebrate that. Okay. If you sell things constantly, your and your site's constantly growing and your business is growing, celebrate that. Okay. Being an entrepreneur as an artist, being an entrepreneur. Okay. 
<clears throat> if you, especially if you've never sold anything before and you get that first sale or you do, you sell something and you get that first commission, that's an exciting feeling. Okay. Don't get upset if it doesn't work for you within the first three days. Okay. If you put a website up and nobody buys, it doesn't mean that it's not going to work. It just means that you have to go to work. Okay. It means you're going to have to continuously grow and expand and build your business. This is how business works. All right. This is how marketing works. This is how successful entrepreneurs are built. This is how successful artists are created and successful creatives are created because nobody's going to do the marketing for you. Nobody's going to do the, sh you know, I mean, like you will, you'll get people that are it's like, Oh, this is my best friend's work. You'll, I, I really love this person's art, whatever. But the main thing is that it's like, if you're, if this is your hot dog business and you really wanted to sell hot dogs, are you just going to put an open sign in the window and not talk to anybody? No, you're going to talk to people. Hey man, check out these hot dogs. They're great. It's, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the same thing with your art. And then yeah, as you know, some people are going to say, I don't eat hot dogs. Hey man, no, I'm a vegan. Hey man, I'm full. And then some people go, I like hot dogs. What kind of hot dogs do you have? It's the same thing with your art business. Okay. Not everybody's going to appreciate your style. Not everybody's going to like the shit that you do. But who cares if you continue to market and you continue to sh put your art out there and you continue to, you know, just keep the momentum going, you'll grow your business. This is how it works. Anyway, um, that being said, okay, I hope that was semi-informative for you. I didn't want to go into a ton of detail on that, but I just, you know, just give you something to think about, something to ponder, because if you're sitting there going, well, I don't understand. I'm not selling anything. I don't understand. It's hard to sell. It's really not hard to sell. It's really not hard to market. It's really not hard to, to grow a following or build a following or whatever. Um, but if you don't know how to do it, it seems, or, or if you don't know how to do it, or if you're taking advice from people that have never done it before, it's going to seem very, very difficult. Okay. Because there's a ton of people out there just going, oh, yeah, you know what I, no, 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 no. If you've never done it, um, there are some things that like really simple things that you just may not know. Okay. And if you're taking advice from people that have never done it, that's not really that good because it, it's like, um, no, it's, I mean, I could give you so many examples on why, why that's such a bad idea, but, uh, it, it just breaks down to this. If you haven't gone to life after art school already, um, life after art school.net already, you should check it out. Uh, I've, I've put together an entire training course for artists, for creatives. Um, I've got a bunch of great artists in the group already, um, that we mastermind together. We put together some, some great solid marketing plan. We just, we discuss everything and anything that is art related, marketing related, pretty much helping artists grow their art business. It's one of the things that I'm super passionate about and I just decided to um, pursue it and really take it seriously um, rather than just as like a hobby. But I, like, I, I, really, um, I really enjoy helping other artists grow and expand and make money and succeed. <sighs> Why? Because that's literally the one thing that art school does not fucking focus on. And it is a killer to most artists because once you get out, you're like, what do I do? You know what I mean? You got these hopes and dreams and I'm going to be the most, the most successful artist in the world. And you realize that it's like, no, if you plan on working for yourself, if you plan on being an entrepreneurial artist, if you plan on not taking a job, like designing stuff for other people, um, you are the business and you have to learn how to sell your business. And that's something that I'm very, very good at. And it's something that I'm very, very good at teaching. So, I want to wish you all a happy new year. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys inside lifeafterartschool.net. Um, the creative intensive is, uh, is a course that I put together for artists. Um, you have different options. Just go through it, see everything. If you just, if you choose to join us, great. If not, um, I wish you the best. You can follow me on, you know, other on YouTube and other stuff and I'll share some information there, but there's way more info inside the course. Love you. Thanks for, you know, following and viewing and commenting and sharing and it's a cross inspiring each other to be awesome let's make this happen peace